today I want to talk about a recent phenomenon from the last decade of anime which I call the Guilty Crown Effect. It is when a series has amazing production value, stunning direction, beautiful music and yet falls face first in the story and character department. I named this term after the anime Guilty Crown because it checks off all the boxes. Production IG and Hiroyuki Sarano, best known for Death Note and Attack on Titan, working together and yet the characters are completely unlikable and the story a cluttered mess that sounds a lot like another anime that no one has ever heard of. Some moments are so breathtaking yet I don't care about it at all because the characters mostly suck. <laughs> Another perfect example of the Guilty Crown effect is Akamika Kill, one of my least favourite anime of all time even though it has my favourite composer Taku Iwasaki in the production studio White Fox. It sucked due to being adapted from what I believe to be a not very good manga before anyone says the original ending is why the anime adaptation sucked. Same problem as Guilty Crown, very few likeable characters and the story isn't the next Full Metal Alchemist. It can work both ways from manga adaptations to anime originals. The first openings were better than the rest of the two shows put together. Also, why the hell are we focusing on the boring protagonist archetype instead of Akame herself? That is something else about the Guilty Crown effect. Our protagonists are usually boring assholes who just spend most of the series being handed power-ups instead of doing something. Supporting casts exist to dump exposition or fight, while the main female lead will have a consistently better design than the main character. There are some series that could get away with just being good enough, like Cabernet of the Iron Fortress. Its script wasn't perfect, but it held the series up to a point of enjoyability. The longer a series is, the more material a script needs to work in the end. It doesn't even work with the rule of cool when the writing is this level of bad. So the answer to this phenomenon is, no matter how much production polish a series has, a bad script can let a series down massively. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe and hit that notification button for more content from yours truly. Also, follow me on Twitter for the link in the description. Cheers for watching. I'm going to get some Rocky Road.